get into Sharp versus Ape Man Grand Finals, ladies and gentlemen. It's finally here. Best believe we're going to Universal Studios. Whatever I get back, well, we're getting in for a roller coaster ride for sure here in game number one. We got the Sephiroth making its return back to the match. I like it. I like the, the like the space it can put. Disjoints are very annoying. But the most important thing is that it's hard for Rob to land normally, which is why I'm saying this now. If this Sephiroth doesn't work, I'm a betting man on the fact that I believe these ESS from Sharp will show up in this set. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Sharp has a lot of tools. Oh my god, that upper the up smash <laughs> on the platform. And oh Rob, my look god, shit. You know what? I appreciate it. Don't calm down. Don't ever calm down when you have a Rob directly above you. Bait out their nares. Bait out their bad options when they try to land because they just have a terrible time touching the ground. But that was a good dash attack to cover them at the ledge. Okay, Sharp looking okay. for a way to come back. He's got the wing activated, so he's got those multiple jumps so he can take his way and move around a little bit differently when it comes back to stage like so. Get the cross up on Ape Man and the back air here. He's got a bit of a lead, so he's got to learn to hold it. And that's the thing about Rob, too. If you give him the time of the day to even go for any kind of setup, he'll definitely take things against you. But what a play from Ape Man because he went for the gyro toss to cover the air and the forward smash to cover Rob. Because what's the one thing that Rob does when he tries to come back is take his time on the stage. So why not remove that entirely? Exactly. I'm going to say it right now. I mean, he's not going to let me, like, follow up with my statement. Never mind. I'm going to keep it to myself. I was about to say, <laughs> never mind. Sharp is going to give him a snap. I was going to Okay. So I'll, I'll finish the statement. One of the most fearful people in this game, not just online, in this game, when they're playing with a deficit, is Ape It Man. Ape It Man turns it up when he is behind. So Sharp has to be very careful, continue to play exactly the way he's playing, and shut down any type of momentum, and continue to punish these landings like so, because if you give Ape It Man an opening, we could be looking at Ape It Man taking a dub. I like the way that Sharp is playing right now. Yeah, 135, the forward air. Good way for Sharp to poke in. He sees that he's off the stage, man. That's a good edge guard for Sephiroth because he's got the range, the down tilt, no forward air, no back air. Okay, takes his time. What a great setup for Scintilla just because he knows how Ape Man can call him out here, but a little bit too early on the execution. Hey, you know what? <laughs> you don't need to execute when you have the range of Masabune. That move is <laughs> just so, so long. Best windscreen in the game. Free. Fight me on it. I don't care. It's so good. <laughs> I, I, I still cannot believe that I'm staring at Sephiroth on a windscreen. Because easily one of my most wanted characters in this game. But also the one I always thought would never, ever get in this game. Sakurai pretty much went out of his way. He's like, yo, Ridley too big? Got him. Sephiroth sword too long? Got him. You never got your third party? I mean, you got your villain for Donkey Kong? Got him. What about representation for all these other people? What about Kirby? What got about him. Zelda? Um, well, you know what? Uh, here's here's Pyro and Mithra. Go, go, go play. I thought you said this game was for, uh, for good boys and girls. Um... No, dude. I, okay. Anyways. I, the one thing I have to tell you, I agree with you. This is definitely one of the best windscreens, not just in Smash, but in fighting games in general. I think the only one that's mm -hmm. second to it is probably Akuma when he when he hits you with uh, Satsui no Hado, that full. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's easily like probably up there with Sephiroth. Like that's, that's an amazing. Enough. Yeah, it's so good. That's another one where it's straight up just sit down, be humble. Like yeah, it's, <laughs> it's such a good the, one. The menacing presence that he just has there is so good. Getting into game number two here, you know, I was sitting there saying I could definitely see the ZSS come out, but with the way that Sharp just played that match, I don't know if I want to see anything other than the Sephiroth for the rest of the night because this Sephiroth is putting in work. Yeah, I, I am we happy We are not to calling see. it Pithra. You cut that out right now. <laughs> Please don't. We are not calling them Pithra. I am sorry. That is banned. You know what, Helvet? You might actually get a timeout for that one. I'm sorry, sir. All right. Well, it so is Pyra, it is Mithra, and y'all better be mostly playing Mithra, but that's a different story. But still, no, <laughs> no Pithra, whatever that is. All right, back into this match, though, before we get yelled at by YouTube comments. <laughs> it's good. Right, we're we gotta get back. We're to gonna... go back on. Uh, Honestly, all, all the YouTube comments are sometimes hilarious to go back on and just see the critical intakes. But anyways, the critical intake here will be Ape Man getting that grab that down throw. No up special, but good for Sharp to understand. I got this wing activated. I have all the jumps that I can use. Well, three of them, actually. And I can find ways to just escape that follow up here, like so. Yeah, you see Ape Man playing it much more closer to the chest now, right? He's willing to box with Sharp because before he was trying to just go ahead and like you know, zone a bit, but play it safe. You don't want to overcommit when you have that much range on the opponent. 
But then he's like, no, no, I'm gonna play in your face because I have great boxing tools too. My down tilt's stupid. Uh, I have really good short hop fair. And, and he's keeping his game even until I decided to speak. He actually took the lead. Oh, good patience. <laughs> I think that's the one thing that Sharp has been doing an excellent job of just calling out an 8-bit man. It's just looking to see how he's able to normally stall off the stage, but also use his little tools as a whole, like able to just jump and go for an aerial, things like that. I think that's the one thing I tell people the most is when you get on stage and you've landed your feet on the on the stage itself, don't overcommit because your opponent still holds a lot of things where they can just take it away from you, especially if you're trying to roll towards center stage. And just look at that pressure we see from Ape Man, that down tilt, even when Sharp has a lead in terms of percent, man, he is not giving up. And that's a textbook way if you're an item based player, uh, when somebody gets a hold of your stuff, think about their item toss. What do they get out of it? I mean, you don't get anything from nearing directly above an up smash, I'll tell you that. But <laughs> you just roll into another up smash, Ape Man, Ape it right back up. But his 8-bit man just, he realized that there was no, there was nothing that Sharp could do out of shield with that gyro. So you just pressure him. Okay, looking for a way to just immediately take 8-bit man off the stage. 8-bit man with a neutral air, a little bit of a down smash play, but that down tilt able to actually poke through on that one. Good, good choice for Sharp. Hey, ooh, oh, okay, so he finally finds a side B. Now what does he do with it? He forces him to go high. You got to be careful up there because I know it's definitely one of the safest options to try and recover high and then do a couple B reverses on landing or something, try and mix it up. But if you get hit all the way up there and that Masamune finds you with that up air, you're going to be dead. So <laughs> even though last stock, this is extremely close. Octa oh, Slash Reverse no. though is actually going to take it for sure. And I've said this time and time again, man. The crazy thing about Octo Slash is that it leaves Sephiroth very vulnerable when it comes to the recovery. But in tangent with that is that it's just its hitboxes and its multi slashes that connect to one another. It does him so many favors when it comes to a reversal yep. like that. Yeah, it really does. It's and that's one of those things too. Even though Sharp, uh, excuse me, uh, Ape Man has plenty of time to maybe you know retreat, float backwards, try and avoid something. You usually just want to get back on stage at that point. You're pretty low and you're kind of scared. So it's pretty common that you want to swing or you want to get in quickly. And that Oct Slash just covers so much because even though you hold it the other way, you'll still snap on landing. So the fact that he's off stage, it's not as it's not as feasible to try and look for the punish on it because of the fact that your back is up against the wall. Right. Man, this is definitely different. Uh, you said it pretty well, Ajax. Ape Man is usually the king of MSM. He has actually the highest wins out of all MSMs. I wouldn't say back to back mm -hmm. to back, but he's definitely one of the few players that we have seen win multiple MSMs out of all the entrants. Sharp, uh, he's definitely also a player that is really strong, man, and Rob is a stronger character, but Sharp is definitely finding a remedy here to stop Ape Man. Like I said, he's kind of effectively, you looked at a Ape Man as a player, but also Rob as a whole, and he's picking a really good choice with Sephiroth, knowing that if I can remove Rob's favorite tools, I will essentially put Ape Man on the back foot and force him to really evaluate what he can do with Rob. Exactly, and we're actually getting a smaller stage right now too, so this means that Ape Man is much more content to do what he was doing in the last game, play up close and personal, uh, keep it so it's harder to react to Gyro, and just swing. Just throw out a lot of down tilts, make it annoying for Sharp to, to find you, it, it like hits you a bunch but oh i like that if you decide to go for just the the single upbeat i don't know so much about that one but <laughs> maybe it was just kind of call out a preemptive jump thinking that ape man was going to go for a nair on uh, the center platform Ah, oh, unsafe nair on the shield here ape man with a down throw but no up smash that would have been great for him here especially because he has a lead and wants to make that further but what a play Ooh. there immediately with the gyro Sharp nose. And then trying to, like, trying to catch him with the gyro again. That was another good call. Just like, if you if you could hit him, would have forced them to have to go low. Ape Man, I like the fact that he like reserved the laser. He was waiting to see how Sharp reacted because there's three jumps. Even if you throw your laser out, you still got two more jumps to play with. So it's not going to be as easy to control him. Right. Gets that roll in and the back air. Ape Man a little bit off the stage. Sharp nose. I gotta go hunting before he gets even the second to come back. Use some of the forward tilt there, nosing. I'm sorry, knowing that he has enough of the center stage that he could just go for that and not pretty much give up the ledge as well with the distance that it goes. That that downer was frames off. That was so close to getting hit. That's it. That's one oh. jump. That's two jumps. He's only got one left, so he's going to be forced to up be pretty soon. Oh, and... no. Yeah. Actually, excuse me. That was... <laughs> I forgot. He's off stage, so that was a two jump. But still, there's the F tilt. They have refused to allow either one of them to have a large lead past any point. <laughs> 
I mean, look at the way that Sharp is playing. He's letting 8-Bit Man know you may have won all the MS a lot of the MSMs here, but I'm looking for a claim to the throne, and it's going to be happening now with this opportunities that I'm not going to drop, but also the way that I'm keeping it as close as possible. And there on the shield, man, both players able to just punish that as well. A couple down tilts there as 8-Bit Man looks to get off the ledge, and good on Sharp to just go for an immediate jab, because that also beats out potential spot dodges. And that's a habit that you can see some players use on the ledge. Finally, the angle forward tilt, too. Yeah, and something also that, you know, we've been putting a lot of respect on 8-Bit Man's name, but kind of forgetting by the wayside, we said it earlier, there is a, there was a tournament this past weekend for the finals of all the ladder bracket, and that was won by Sharp. Sharp still looking very hot off of that W and trying to get another one here tonight. 8-Bit Man, I like the consistent pressure, but it's just not been enough to get in on the zone of Sharp, and now Sharp is really starting to look much better on this smaller stage where it seemed like 8-Bit Man was doing a good job of kind of keeping them grounded. It's not really working as much. He's starting to find these openings and now getting the gyros too, even more often. This is starting to look really rough. Even yeah. though Aven Man had to sit for a bit, this, uh, it, it, he, hopefully he's got the warm up in now because he still has another chance at Grands. But this is looking very much like a reset. Yeah, like you said, when you win, when you win and you say on the winner's side, you definitely get to be in the eyes for a little while. But the thing about being on the winner's side is you get two whole sets to adapt. <laughs> and if Ape Man's gonna make some adaptation, it might be on the next set. But Sharp is looking pretty strong here, looking like a possible 3-0 so far. No down smash. There's the back throw. Sharp immediately out there for the hunt, and the hunt has succeeded with the bracket reset now into reality. That is one of those situations that I wish for a lot of people coming up to do more often because what are the fr like baby's first read right what, are, what what do you do you run up to somebody who's up against the ledge after they took a stock they roll you punish that roll right that's the first thing you learn how to do when you're playing online another thing you really need to get in your toolkit is knowing when a zoner off stage plans to swing he right. knew that uh, he knew he was gonna throw that gyro out or a laser something high to try and make it so he wouldn't move from ledge that way it would make it easier for him to recover but because he's up two stocks he just dips underneath it if he gets hit fine you don't die but if you get him after he throws gets that swing and that puts him up on the set i am very curious as to where we go for the stage next because i feel like it's got to be a wider stage at this point like maybe a ps2 i don't know if he's leaving it open but like ape man just couldn't play the game I was going to say, a PS2 might be something really good to put out there on the board for Aven Man, because, yeah, he needs that width to definitely be able to move around Sephiroth and avoid those whiff punishes that Sephiroth can get on him from moving around, having that range all together. A lot of things there that can happen. For Aven Man, yeah, I have to admit, PS2 is definitely a, a stage on the board. Another one that we haven't seen yet is Kalos, too. That's one thing that can be different yep. here. But the thing about Sephiroth and I, Kalos is like his sword still pokes through that platform. And what would be a different edge guarding or different ways to come back on the stage is just good for Sephiroth either way. Yeah, I think the only way Kalos gets picked or allowed is if uh, Sharp switches. Because I think that Sharp wants these platforms right now. He's been controlling heavily how uh, Ape Man lands. So something like an FD is just like a free... It's a free reset of the way that he's been playing for a right, bit, so right. I don't think he's going to let him get that. But if I were Sharp, that... stay Sephiroth. If I were 8-Bit oh, Man, yeah. look at how he's able to punish me off stage. And the more that I can hold him on the stage with my projectiles, the better. But we'll see how things can happen like that. I'm, what, what are we, I'm sorry, you're going to say something, Ajax, before I cut you off. No, 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 it's good. I, I just still, my, my guess is a wider stage, probably PS2. Right, um, right, right. Flat stage, I'm hard-pressed to believe in a flat stage. Maybe Town and City even, too. But it's just... He needs room. He needs room to run and work with, and it is actually going to be Town City. Yeah, he also needs room to breathe, man, because if, you know, if your opponent impresses you and <laughs> yeah. puts you on that wall, man, you ain't breathing anytime soon. But immediately, Ape Man, man starting off a little bit different here, hot with the hands, because he's already warmed up with that first set. Yeah, this is extreme fitness, and this trainer has been a little bit too rough. <laughs> Everything Sharp has been doing has just been burying 8-Bit Man. And I know 8-Bit Man been putting in a lot of work uh, to, like since everything started to get much fitter, but he needs some room to just get a second to breathe, chill out, and I like how this match has already started here because a slightly wider stage, and he's been willing to like find some more opportunities to punish. He just has to get the stock lead at this point. That's really all it is because Sharp just keeps finishing the stock before he can. Right. I'm definitely going to agree with you, Alan Ajax. Ape Man has been in the fitness lane for quite some time, man. A lot of work that has been done to himself, and you can see it even in person. I definitely want to say that first set between him and Sharp was definitely cheat day. And I'm going to say, man, once you're finished with cheat day, <laughs> you want to come back and hit the gym as hard as possible. And definitely Ape Man is looking to hit the gym 
for sure. I mean, he may have lost that first stock, man, but sometimes you gotta lose some to get some, and you get that other stock too. And like you said, they're not gonna they're gonna go back and forth as soon as possible. I was gonna say I have no I have no fear whatsoever that Apeman Man is going to get the stock at zero because I can't even, <laughs> I've lost track now at this point how many times they have finished the stock and then immediately took the other one not even with Angel Platform invincibility they just take it this has been a scrap I know some of these matches have played a little bit slower it seems like it but they're swinging this could be an early stock lightweight Sephiroth gets caught for the first time so far dying at 63 percent. Yeah, and honestly for Ape Man, he needs to put out more of those on the table, man, because he will that's the thing about Sephiroth, he's such a glass cannon that he he has that range, he has some really strong knockback, a lot of tools to edge guard you even off the stage recoveries. Oh my god, there's a plethora of tools. Biggest weakness, man, is he's looking like Mewtwo when it comes to that weight class. Yeah, pretty much. It's the, at least at least must mood it doesn't count as a freaking hitbox but honestly oh there's the up smash again he's caught him that would have uh, caught him with that a few times now trying to land from the ledge but you this is actually one of the first times so far that we haven't seen sharp immediately equalize the stocks which works extremely well for Ape man because he can do stuff like that he could be willing to go for reads and maybe take a punish but if he gets a trade that's the game yeah Oh, no trades <laughs> indeed here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Honestly, I believed in my heart that he was dead just because of rage, that back air, and how light Sephiroth is. Oh, well, he's dead now. <laughs> and you know what was crazy is he dash attack on shield, which usually is not safe, but the gyro there for the assist. Man, that's the crazy thing about Raw, man. He looks like a Marvel character with, with the gyro assist, man. I thought Zelda was a Marvel character with the assist that she pulls out, but... Mm -hmm. Rob, too, man. He's got some crazy stuff with that gyro, man. Oh, yeah. No, this is Dr. Doom at his finest. The only thing he doesn't have is foot dives, and thank goodness for that. Oh, thank <laughs> so, God. Like, thank God. Like, hit, hidden know. missiles, hidden gyros. And nobody wants nobody wants to deal with it, and, and he borderline has infinites with the way that he plays. He just takes stocks away, so uh, wins Marvel, baby. But I really like the way that Ape Man played that game because we said it before. Do you the think thing is... Yeah, go on, go on. Uh, no, no, that's all good. I actually I just got happy because somebody finally did it. David Zoo coming in with the foot foot dive. I almost want to. I, I want to give you like a. <laughs> I, I almost want to say. Wanna, I want to give you a high five. Thank you so much for knowing what I'm talking about. But oh yeah, look at this. That, what what did I say? I said if if the Sephiroth loses, the ZSS is going to show up. I oh, it most definitely. Did. Like, I, I think I think for sure ZSS is a character that's really good for sharp. Definitely one of the original mains that he had that people told me about. I'm not too sure. Please don't quote me on that. I just know that this was a character Sharp had used originally. And then, of course, his Joker definitely put himself up to par. And honestly, Joker was the character that got him here alongside Sephiroth. It's good for him to make the character switches with the adaptation that Ape Man has brought out that first game. Because that adaptation was definitely needed in the first set. But like I said, the first set was cheat day. And now Ape Man is ready to hit the gym as hard as possible. Yeah, now the Extreme Trainer has come up. If anybody has ever played GTA 5 who can remember that really crazy runner, this is pretty much what ZSS is right now to Rob. It is so difficult for Rob to properly fight ZSS. Granted, he does have a good amount of ZSS practice, but ZSS just destroys everything Rob hates. His bad landing options, and she smothers him. Especially yeah. things like that Zare, that boost kick is not going to take it yet. Never oh. mind. I'm a liar. I'm sorry. So that's <laughs> not going to, uh, to Sharp. Man, look, I'm telling you, man, the commentators have the Holy Trinity. The future reads, the commentators curse, and sometimes and occasionally the commentators bless. Sometimes we just straight up lie to you. <laughs> I, I like how, now I like how Sharp is playing uh, this game. Now he has a stock lead. He's doing things like short hop fair, trying right, to play right. just within his range. Because you have to commit to that jump if you're going for the nair or the fair from, from Rob. Every trade is in ZSS's favor right now. He's to stock up and he's at KO percent. It's borrowed time. Get as much damage as you can. Oh, great use of that Zare to come back on the stage to cover the landing there after up air. Because that stopped Ape Man in his tracks. Sharp using that double jump. Also, that great movement that you have with ZSS. No down smash on the tech read right there. But on the last, man, look at this lead that Sharp has put out here. Ape Man looking for an upper to stop her landings. I want to say, I kind of want to see a few more lasers coming out from Ape Man. Because, like I said, when you have a very mobile character and you're a zoner, your best bet is to stop her movement as much as possible. But look at the back air from Sharp continuing this lead here. 155. I hope so too because the option coverage from Sharp right now is is taking everything. He's gonna cover the landing now, looking for the bad option. That time he gets mixed up with the Nair, so that's good for Ape Man. But you saw it before the B reverse off the platform with the laser shot covering pretty much everything. Ape Man has to find one of those nice early side BKOs, and now. Okay, Sharp on the return back to stage. No back air. Oof. 
scary stuff indeed here, but look at the way that Sharp is just not letting go of this ledge. Like I said, I kind of want to see Aiden Man find an opportunity like so, man, able to finally use the gyro to shut down Trump at the ledge and buy his way back towards center stage. Great use of that second jump, though, to come off and watch his landing. Yeah, here we go. He's going to dig deep off stage. I like it. Make sure that you don't let Ape Man feel like you can recover from oh, free. No. That is game number two going to Sharp. I like how you said the second that you said that, man, he immediately gets the power laser into the boost kick. <laughs> it covers so much. It covers, so, like, it, you're so safe with it because you cover with that. If they happen to pre up, if they buff a roll and they somehow get away from it, mash flip kick, you're getting away. Yeah. <laughs> and like, the most, the most that happens to you is you take a small punish, maybe a grab. So that was incredibly played from, from Sharp recognizing the situations where he needed to because you just you want to maximize that i also just realized people are talking about dlc and chat if master you chief. want if you i want master chief too yeah i'm a huge Halo master fan. chief master chief look i all right so the reason why i actually want master chief is because and i actually also kind of want crash bandicoot too is because those are the last of the the gaming icons for me growing up that's the representative like the, the, the apostrophe or quote uh, quotes uh, representative for sony and right. master chief is obviously the icon for microsoft uh xbox yeah. but i am still a firm believer that we're getting another dlc package and i see this name floating around a lot in there especially because overwatch 2 is coming i think tracer has actually got a very high shot to get in this game oh dude definitely i think i think i think tracer has an opportunity oh and there's speaking of opportunities man Ape and man on the character switch for a different set of opportunities, Wait, man. On the Diddy. That's yes. the Diddy! I called it earlier in chat, 8 bit Diddy. This is one you don't see too often, but this is a matchup that's actually relatively annoying for uh, ZSS because of like all of ZSS's set play gets kind of interrupted by the short frame hip, uh, like her box and the bananas. So yeah. it makes it a lot more annoying. Even though she has good boxing tools, <laughs> he doesn't need to commit because he's got banana. Yeah, and honestly, for for those of you guys watching on back at home, and just anybody who's been watching 2GG in general, for 44 MSNs in a row, man, we haven't really necessarily seen Ape Man switch characters, and Sharp has definitely broke down on Ape Man. It's gonna have to be the Diddy here versus the ZSS, and you can see how that pick is excellently doing wonders for Ape Man so far here. There's 67 on 115. He gets a read with a forward smash, up smash on the shield, and that's gonna be it. Like so. There it is. You control so you literally control a third of the stage just by having banana around you. It's the same concept of having C4 if you're snake. This is gonna be a solid punish. It isn't gonna KO just yet, but can Sharp find the recovery option? I actually like the fact that he didn't commit to flip kick because that's what Sharp was looking for. Decided right. to charge the up B instead. Alright, Ape Man is slowly getting his way back onto the stage. Goes for the monkey flip. That's the thing about Diddy Kong, man. All Diddy's live and die by that monkey flip. But here is going to be Sharp's opportunity at the ledge. No Z, I'm sorry, no Z jump on the banana, but no down smash. But looking to take center stage as much as possible. And even missing Ooh. the boost kick, that was crucial, man. And then a mix up follow up punch. I really enjoy watching the way Ape Man, like look at the way his movement is. He's, he's keeping himself safe while also having a burst option in using the flip kick, or like using the monkey flip kick. That's going to get beat. Look, most things are going to get beat up by Plasma Whip. <laughs> that, that is just a good move. But that was, it, he's staying on the go and pr he's refusing to let Sharp get set up. And this is the most barrels I've seen since MVD's Diddy Kong. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, good on Ape Man and put those barrels to good use as much as possible against CSS. There is the banana, no follow, but still good on Sharp to hold center stage, like I said. It's going to be really keen, especially against Diddy, and, and avoid a lot of banana plays. A couple of uppers, but unfortunately slipping on the banana, and Ape Man gets a center stage hold at this opportunity here. He's so lucky Banana was there because Sharp had forced the jump already out of him. So if that Banana wasn't there to stop him, he probably oh, was yeah. going for a ride to the top <laughs> of the blast zone on his favorite rocket ship. Well, holding shield, good job getting through that. Look at these cancels he's using with the pop gun to actually quickly be reverse grab the Banana and get in position. I don't think it happens so fast. I, I've seen it a few times, so I was confused on how the movement was going. But this is actually really oh. clean play. Good DI, not going to die just yet. Yeah, and honestly, oh no, no down tilt, up smash. But honestly, like, this is like Ape. I wouldn't say necessarily Ape Man's second character. This is a character he keeps in the back pocket for in case of emergency oper operations. And yeah, this is break glass if ZSS appears on screen. <laughs> pretty much, and this is looking for the exact reason why no mash out because at higher percents becomes very difficult to get out of that berry and sharp will take the stock here 165 though you know if ape man hits this man with one area one up smash yeah you might push up off the stage or even off the stock yeah, see, look at that. He's canceling again. He kind of co like covers the idea of if you want to flip kick off stage, it's going to be difficult. Right now, I think he's going to be looking for a throw because 
It's actually a little bit difficult when you get a little bit too high in percents out of si outside of straight aerials to get the KO. You like you see how he can't commit the down tilt. Uh, see, it just smacks too far away. So, he's, and now he's looking for these raw up beats. And Sharp knows it. He's putting out all these F tilts just to make it so he can't grab them. Okay, Paper Man looking for the way to land here. 202 man, ZSS's rage is a different beast, and you have to respect it here. That's gonna be the back throw. Yeah. The stocky up, that's a huge eat. 202, something's gotta give him. Yeah, it, it was gonna happen eventually. You can only avoid grabs for so long, but Sharp played it immaculately. That's how you need to do it. You just need to just put out hitboxes, put them in a way, get annoying, make it so they can't touch you. But now, last stock, one stock apiece. You get the banana chips, you find a solid combo, and maybe an early spike. He hasn't gone for it yet off the ledge. He could take this game away from Sharp. Okay, nice monkey flip. Looking to get back on stage. That's the thing about Diddy, man. You live and die by it, and Sharp would have been calling that out. Would have happened, but still go for Ape Man to go for extra height just over a lot of things. There's the Barry Ape Man with the banana play. No forwarder to catch any aerial from Sharp. Oh, oh this is tough. Just barely missed. I like the fact that he went for the dash attack there too instead of trying to commit to a down, uh, down smash. And this is one of the few characters that can play the game perfectly fine while having banana in hand. That near out of shield almost gets the follow up coverage with the back air too. You got to play in shield at this point. Uh, stage position is going to be crucial here. It's why you see uh, Ape Man holding center stage. Ooh, and the side B and the opportunity, man. Just when Ape Man thought he could get this man, Sharp returns to center stage, lets the side B go on. And like you said, challenging that plasma with. It's pretty much no life. It's just all death. Absolutely. Whoa, 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 whoa. We lived through two banana Diddy Kong for long enough. I was going to say, man. We do not I, want that back. I don't want that back. <laughs> I don't know. I have, who said that? I'm who still that? a... Uh, A-dubs. I'm still a firm, firm believer that... A, like Diddy Kong is extremely good in this game post buffs. Yo. A, like obviously has struggles a little bit offline, and yeah, he struggles in some weird matchups. But you know, Ape Man for example, he's got Rob to go with it. But yeah. no, no, no two, no we are sorry, not, I'm no sorry. two bananas, no. I'm sorry, <laughs> y'all don't want that struggle. That was, that's don't a want special that kind of pain. You don't understand. <laughs> that's why I tell people, Brian, the real nerfs from Brawl were like, yeah, I remember when Brawl Olimar had six Pikmin. Somebody in the in the dev room said you know what let's give all of our six pikmin let's give yeah, diddy kong two bananas no i'm sorry you want to see the buzz go back to playing uh all Omar? there it is give him the six pikmin back that's that's how you do the trick um i'm not trying to follow that that trap either that or matter of fact also while we're on that topic since we're continuing down this road we're just seeing a whole bunch of things i don't ever want to see back don't ever let ice climbers have a very easy time getting those zero to deaths make them have oh to work for God. it by knowing their combos all that, that stuff. is that is true that is true ice climbers now, is good where ice climbers do, now if they what they want to do if they could if they could do this for me bring back when down tilt from ike used to spike at the ledge if you want to do that for me real quick hey i appreciate you that yo that's link really link cool. actually link used to actually have that in smash 4 like smash 4 like pre-patch link had down tilt and it would spike slowly and it would be really really nice but uh not nah, straight up like before like i i like one of ike's best actual options at ledge besides um the uh uh, what what was it? Oh my God! Like the mercenary walk, whatever it calls it, uh, the jab cancel jabs. Oh right, right, right. Down right, right. tilt used, to, yeah, da, down tilt. Because it was like a soft. <laughs> yeah, I, I remember that was the craziest thing about Ike back in Smash Four. I still like Ike in Ultimate, but I will see. Cause oh, I I I see this screen. is this is his best iteration by far. Not even close, but <laughs> it's uh, if we could just add that to, that'd be great. Are right, we getting into the next game here, number four? We are on the reset. This could be Sharp taking the W away. I still like the fact that he committed to the Diddy Kong a slightly wider Definitely. stage too. Uh, also, Town and City is good because ZSS is worst issue, like, unless you're Web, Web loves FD, uh, it is playing on a platformless stage. Diddy Kong loves flat stages. So th yeah. now that it's in this situation, the matchup goes to Diddy's favor, or even Correct. more Diddy's favor. And, and that's going to be the dynamic going forward here in this specific matchup here, is when things go flat and when things get platforms, at this opportunity, the platforms are slowly reeling in here. And of course, it's going to be up to Ape Man, slowly actually bringing the percents back, but it's going to be sharp with the grab. Good opportunity for the down smash to try to get the roll read there on the get up. Yeah, and I like the fact, it's good option coverage too, because if he does move in, he dies. If he stays right, right. off to the ledge, you still have pressure. You can easily just mash jab, it's frame one, you can short off fair. Um, right now, <laughs> I love these I love these barrels. They are so reckless, they seem so scary, but they're actually pretty good. Like it's a random burst oh, no. option that's been working. But 
monkey flip also gets punished every once in a while too. That's good punish from Sharp. I, and that's what I've been saying all night, man. Diddy's live and die by that monkey flip, but unfortunately for Ape Man, he will die by it. And this is gonna be an excellent boost kick. No, not like this. Not like this. Not like this. <laughs> We were just talking about previous games, what game we live in now, I'm not gonna reference it, but that is an enormous KO for Sharp. I now, thought we were Ape playing Man, Smash 4. I, look, Ape Man is literally do, like thinking about life decisions in the corner. Like, do I pro do, do I continue? I, well, hey, you know what? There you go. <laughs> we've, see, we've seen Sonic's do it before, right? Where he just went off to the side, taunted it, and took the game away because it made it look like he was giving up. But Ape yeah, Man's like, all right, all right, look, man. Just like, when you go up to the mirror and just try to hype yourself, I was like, all right, look. All right, look, we got this. We got destroyed. <laughs> we got body, but you know what? Don't I'm give up. Diddy Kong. Yeah, I, I'm Diddy I'm going to steal a stock. We're good. Yeah, we're good, man. Don't give up, man. You still hold the controller, but oh, stop. This is Smash 4. <laughs> this is Smash 4. Oh, my God. <laughs> don't, don't. Oh, my don't God. Lose your this is, <laughs> to the black this, zone. Is, this 